Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World, and I'm here with Gerben Patterson from GAN Systems. What we have here in front of us is the winner of the Google Little Box Challenge, which involved a lot of GAN technology. Gerben, for our uh, viewers who might not be entirely acquainted with the Google Little Box Challenge, you would tell us a little bit about this, uh, what we have here. Yes. <coughs> well, about a year ago, uh, Google initiated a contest with a million dollar prize, which of course got a lot of attention, to produce a small inverter just to see how far we could move the bar in the industry. And the goal was 50 watts per cubic inch, which was pretty ambitious. Um, it produced for them a surprising number of entrants, something like 2,000 entrants, which got whittled down to 18 finalists that presented in Denver last October, I believe. And it was a very exciting day to see all these amazing innovative boxes come together and then they were subjected to several weeks of rigorous testing at the National Reliability Labs there. And the winners were announced a couple of weeks ago with the winner and the two semi-finalists. And to our delight, we discovered that they'd used our GAN in the, uh, in the winning and the third uh, place box. And the company produced this, uh, CE&T, a Belgian-based company. And they're pretty excited as well, of course, and they managed to arrange to fly this over last week so we could show it here at the conference. Interesting. Could you tell us a little bit about the topology they decided to use with those GAN chips? Yeah, um, electrical topology, I can't tell you a lot. The, the structural is, topology is fascinating. All the, the boxes that came were, it wasn't just the wideband gap semiconductors that were exciting, it was the magnetics, the cooling, the, the ceramic capacitors that used in them. Amazing amount of innovation to they create the, the power they did in that small space. Yes. Indeed. And, uh, but for our viewers who are not familiar with the challenge, what kind of energy density were, did they manage to achieve with it? Oh, this one achieved 143 watts per cubic inch, which is close to three times better than the contest. <laughs> so, and it's, uh, it has, it's achieved what they said, it's set the bar. Um, already we have industrial products we're on show now, we're achieving the same sorts of density or targeting them. Hmm. The world knows that's what can be done now. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting technology. Gervin, thanks for giving us an overview. Oh, it's, we're proud to have it here. It's exciting. <laughs>